Yo. Toy B Ohm. That's Vietnamese for I'm sick. You are sick. Yeah, and it sucks ass, dude. Sick in the head. All right, that's too far. That's a step too far, dude. Mental sickness. Hey, dude, you making fun of my brain damage? That no. is so insensitive of you, dude. Well, maybe I got brain damage in the yeah. sensitivity part of my brain. Well, maybe you do. Bitch. Little baby bitch. Fuck off. Oh, so you are sensitive, huh? <laughs> yeah, it fell right into my trap, dude. Fuck you. Right. What are you sick with, you big pussy? I don't know, dude. I was messing around with a sick chick, and of course uh. I got sick. Uh. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. What do you do when your <laughs> homesteaded almost wife fucking gets sick? I kiss her. Exactly. All right, then. Or even. No, we're not. You just made fun of me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm yeah. building up my immunities, dude. I got antibodies. What do you have? I guess antibodies as well. I'm exposed to a lot of stuff here in Texas. Yeah, you're supposed to poop, you poopy plumber. True. You're a poop man. From all ages, too, like old poop. Ew, dude, that's <laughs> disgusting. Not like, not like that. Children's <laughs> like poop, dude. Fuck old yeah. poop has in time. <laughs> it's been sitting there for a long time. Hell yeah. Is what I was trying <laughs> to say. <laughs> <laughs> poop from, no. through, from throughout the ages, <laughs> not poop from all ages. That's right. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was whew, I'm glad we settled that one. You know, I don't get to choose what kind of shit is in the pipes that I'm working on. For the Actually, <laughs> there is this company that used to, I don't know if they're around anymore, but it was an Austin thing called Dillo Dirt. And nice. They would drain the septic systems of all the like elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, uh -huh. and they would turn it into topsoil, which is pretty cool, dude. I mean, yeah, it's disgusting. I would hate the job, but I mean, that's what topsoil is. I mean, with other yeah, things, but for that's pretty cool. crops and stuff. Yeah. But I do remember them saying, like, when it rains, it south by and whatnot to not play in the fucking mud because there's like a lot of shit up in there well yeah, that's just a good rule in general uh like, yeah but it was like one season everyone was like you know having a hippie time and playing in the mud and fucking yeah, that's typical of acl <laughs> um yeah that's that place just becomes a mud fest so yeah don't play in the mud. There's poo-poo in there. Well, not only is there E. coli, bacteria, but anthrax is grown in soil. So, uh-huh. You know. Also, those flesh-eating bacterias um, are up in there. MRSA. Uh -huh. um, the fucking superbugs. That's where they're coming from is the soil. They are, the amoebas live in freshwater. Um uh, and you essentially, like, you have to come close to drowning to ever get one of those to enter your brain. But it's yeah. terrifying, dude. There's a lot of people that don't know how to swim out there. Well, or <laughs> just, you know, the mistake of, like, when you jump in and you're not plugging your nose, you're not breathing out of your nose, so it just shoots straight up. That's what's happening. Right. And it happens to a lot of kids because they take nose breaths underwater because they're fucking idiots. Yeah. I have this dope thing called the Navage, and it just shoots water through your nasal oh, cavities. Like a neti pot, huh? Yeah, super neti pot. 
is it and, electronic? Uh huh. And does it okay, have like so, uh, the the pods that have like a saline solution? Exactly. Fuck yeah, yeah. You fill it up with filtered water, not straight out of the fucking sink. Yeah. And it's like that because that shit's going right up in your brain. Like, it's so wild, dude. It drains out the is... other side of your nose. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah. It's all connected, dude. But I used to fucking like deep dive as a kid and let the water into your nasal cavity because it kind of like feels better once you're down there. You know what I mean? Like d diving deep in the depth and fucking that's terrible. <laughs> There's so much I mean, fucking shit. I understand what you mean, but I don't know what you mean because I've <laughs> never done that before in my life. Really? Ever. Uh, okay. There's never been a time <laughs> where I'm like, this could feel better and just inhale a bunch of water in my nose. Yeah, you just kind of like, you know, let the pressure go and it fucking fills up your nose and you're still holding your breath. Well, um, fortunately, the like water temperatures didn't get that hot, hot enough for the, the amoebas to survive when we were kids. Like now it's a pretty mm -hmm. like rampant problem. But back in the day, dude, it was fine. Right. Yeah, we get extreme weather. It's still hot as fuck here. Yeah, I heard y'all got down <laughs> into the 80s. That's uh, pretty big, dude. Yeah, it started raining. <laughs> yeah, two days in a row. It was storming Sick, like a bit. Dude. That's wild. It's uh, It was 36 when I took baby out. That's cold. Yeah, boy. I was not expecting my tits to freeze off this morning yeah no i'm Oof. i'm still uh getting a sweaty ass crack on my way to the car awesome dude love and, it uh, yeah <laughs> the best so yeah what are you sick with i don't know i think it's covid like covid like symptoms because oh it was yesterday like i made some like badass fried chicken noodle soup. Uh huh. I went and gave it to this chick, and then uh, yeah, this morning I woke up at midnight, and I was just what the fuck. <laughs> so I like I took baby out. I downed a bunch of medicine. And it was funny because I went to uh, Walmart yesterday, and I wasn't feeling sick. But I was just like, I'm going to grab some medicine because I fucked around with a sick chick. Right. And so, yeah, I was like, I don't need this, but it'll be good to have. Like, oh, my fucking God. I ran out to my microwave where I left it and just started chugging soda straight out of the bottle. Just, oh, oh, please help me. My throat hurts. <laughs> and then uh, I went to sleep like again around like 4 a.m. And I had a full cough drop, like, shoved in the back of my throat. And I woke up, and, like, half of it was still there, and my mouth was all cold. <laughs> it's like, oh, gross, this is fucking great, <laughs> dude. Just fucking deep-throating that all night? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's a honey flavor. <laughs> it's a miracle you didn't die. <laughs> dude, I literally... Cough drops and gum... Since I was a little kid, dude, fall asleep with that shit, and I wake up and just start chewing again. Like, mm, mm, bubble is just. Mm. <laughs> have you, have mm. you ever choked before? Yeah, dude. The only time I've ever choked, I've been awake and sentient. But oh, I'm. Shit. Yeah, my parents are. Well, there's been multiple instances where my parents have thought I was retarded, but <laughs> on a on a road trip one time. I had those, like, you remember those movie theater boxes of gobstoppers? Oh, yeah. I had a box of those. And I put one in my mouth and immediately started <laughs> choking. So my dad smacks it, like, he's driving and he's smacking my back trying to get me. Then he hits me in the chest and it pops out. I'm like, mm. awesome. So I crunch it. I put another one in my mouth, immediately start choking again. What the fuck? He pulls over. <laughs> takes the gobstoppers away from 
<laughs> Sorry. I'm Those are old. dangerous. Hell yeah, they are, dude. Bows and jawbreakers, which I guess a gobstopper is a jawbreaker. Um, but what's the the chocolate milk ones? Whoppers or milk duds? Yeah, whoppers. I think the crunchy. Yeah, they had like a almost like a sponge that's like hard in the middle. Yeah, they're like yeah. old old Civil War bullets. Fuck yeah, dude! Covered in chocolate. Mm. <laughs> Gotta love them. Yeah, dude. Whoppers always gave me canker sores though, so I like. I can never do them. That's weird. I know because, like, I loved sucking on a Whopper till all the chocolate was gone, and then mm -hmm. you'd get the like whatever horror. It's like styrofoam, basically, and I'd shove them in the side <laughs> of my mouth and wait for them to like collapse. Like, you oh. soak them with spit and suck on them, and then they like flatten. This okay, and then my mouth would just fucking raw. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, it's like you're fucking dipping tobacco. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <clears throat> but no, Which I is... just I just do that with the chocolate, but then I'll just do a bite crunch, it. nice little yeah. crunch. Yeah, that's why I like milk duds are such a like depression era fucking candy. Yeah, like, you gotta dude, suck on those. Dude, like what the <laughs> fuck? All you get is hard, chewy caramel after this. Like fuck that. I actually love milk duds. I'm not a fan. Um, it's almost <laughs> like you remember sugar daddies and sugar babies. No. So you probably got them for Halloween, but sugar babies were milk duds without the chocolate. So it's just like oh, car yeah. caramel jelly. <laughs> and sugar daddies were like a lollipop, but like a long rectangle version of it. And it's just caramel. Like, yeah, this fucking sucks, dude. All right, just this call it fucking worse. caramel. <laughs> yeah, call it a caramel candy pop. Like, you made it a different shape. Yeah, like, congratulations. Congrats. Now, I will say, Tootsie Rolls, they go fucking hard, dude. Oh, yeah, I love me some Tootsie Rolls. I have no idea what it is. I guess chocolate taffy is the best way to describe it. But... Mm -hmm. You're eating a part of history when you eat Tootsie Rolls. Those saved our troops in World War II, man. Yeah, they're so good. Fuck yeah, they are. And those are like not even Depression era. Those are like from the 1920s. That's like the yeah the, before the Depression. That shit was like, live. People were celebrating Tootsie Rolls, dude. <laughs> they were doing the Tootsie Roll. roll. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude! Shaking their ass. Those back in the girls. trenches. Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> what is the Tootsie Roll? I don't know. Come on, you <laughs> SS motherfuckers! I'll show you how to shake it, dude. I don't shake. like that. No. Oh come on, dude! I don't Tootsie. <laughs> yeah, but you roll, <laughs> boy. Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> Maybe I do like the Tootsie Roll. Nine. <laughs> Dude, speaking of Germans, I got oh god, I got this a series of the weirdest fucking texts, and I need to like, okay, I need to set boundaries for myself. Like, this is gonna sound weird because I know like I'm a pretty big asshole, but I don't like making fun of people's beliefs to their face. Like, I yeah. I entertain it because it's like, yo, whatever. But I got a text that was like, yo, check this video out. It's uh -huh. like, look, like the Ukrainians have always been Nazis. I'm like, well, yeah. Like, they did have an SS division. That's true. There are neo Nazis in the Ukrainian war right now, which is true. But it's like, up. Up before the Russians invaded, it's like, weren't you a fucking like neo Nazi? I was like, so now you just flip flopped, and I'm happy that you flip flopped and like don't support Nazism anymore. But it's like, I want to say all these things, but like in reality, I'm just kind of supportive. Like, yeah, I'm glad you finally like don't like Nazis. I was like, I'll just let you go on with this. We're funding nazi war criminals 
in Ukraine. Like that's a wild thought to like subscribe to, but cool. <clears throat> like at least you're like against it and not like cheering it on. Like, yeah, dude, Nazis. And as I got that text, I also got a text that was like, watch this video about how the end of the world is happening yesterday and how the FEMA alert is actually going to fry your phone and there's going to be like a zombie apocalypse because Barack Obama is the Antichrist. And I was like, oh, damn. damn. Yeah. I never and thought like, about that, dude. I shouldn't have. Dude. Shit. I didn't plan at all for that one. You didn't. I did, dude. Fuck. I put I put the rest of my money in gas. I got myself some medicine and some peanuts. Yeah. Like, all right, dude. The world's in them. Sick. <laughs> okay. And so this is a friend? <laughs> yeah, these are both friends. And the one that sent me the Obama's the Antichrist is a black lady. So it's like Oh, it's not coming it. from like a a racially motivated like fuck this black dude he's the antichrist okay, it's coming from like a hardcore hardcore christian angle where it's like you know jesus is right. coming back read revelations they say barack and corinthians so that obviously is referring to barack obama they say Obama in like Joshua, so obviously that means Barack Obama. And boy, and I don't his middle know. name is Hussein, right? Yeah. So I'm sure there's a couple of Husseins up in there. <laughs> well, I mean, the most famous Hussein is Saddam, so it's like, I don't know, dude. Maybe there's a connection too. Yeah, I Who remember knows? that when he was like running for president. I was like, huh. Well, that's that was a, that's a crazy name, buddy. <laughs> yeah, well, that was a good like sort of barometer to see how racist America really was. Because yeah, that was a good one. I was thinking like, all right, we've got crazy racist motherfuckers. Apparently, apparently the hate is just everywhere, and no one can stop it. But it's like, dude, nobody even took a shot at Barack. Not a single shot. And I'm talking about physically shooting. Like, no, there was no assassination. Uh, I was like, attempt. what? <laughs> no, no, like sending fucking ricin or anthrax, nothing. Yeah. And that was a good barometer of like, all right, we've kind of like, we're past the like racial relations. And then Trump got it. And every, all the Democrats are like, dude, let's go back to our skin color. I'm like, oh, nuts. Oh, nuts. How y'all gonna do mm -hmm. this again? Like, you crazy motherfuckers. Yeah, it was uh, one step forward and two steps back. Silence is you violent. Speech is violence. Like, oh, you do not understand what violence is, sweetheart. Like, and the same could be said for Trump, too, because homie was apparently the most hated president ever, and nobody yeah. took his ass out either. So. Dude fucking reagan was <laughs> shot like that's yeah. fucking wild dude and he was a good president yeah <laughs> so well i mean like... depending on who you ask but yeah like right. a loved president like overall he did well <laughs> right and so... they're like now yeah, fuck this dude like, Damn, yeah that's dude. that's pretty wild it's a weird place we live in sometimes Nobody knows what the fuck is going on. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, I cannot wait for it to just like to evaporate out of my system. Like, yeah, I'm I'm just replacing it with like learning language and culture because like that's all I really give a shit about. Like, because yeah, you get a lot. Apparently, no one who goes over there like tries to learn the language. I'm like, what? That's rude. Yeah, I was like, that's fucking stupid. And, like, everyone's asking me, they're like, why? Like, are you going to go meet up with, like, the Americans there or, like, the expats? And I was like, what the? I'm surrounded by Americans. Why the fuck would I want to do that? Like, no. I'm yeah. going to Vietnam for the people and the place and the culture. 
like, and to leave mine behind. It sucks right now. That's cool. You know, some weird happened to me the other day. Uh, mm -hmm. It was on Sunday. I, we had left uh, my girlfriend's car downtown, and so I had to take an Uber to go get it. And uh, you had to go get it instead of her. Yeah, she was sick. It's a long story, but anyway, <laughs> I went to go get it, just being you know nice, and uh, fucking sitting there watching like videos of ukraine and shit and i was like oh i gotta go outside so i go outside and the neighbors across the street are like fucking arguing in the front yard <laughs> the husband and wife are just going at it dude <laughs> like so awkward fuck? And just sitting there in the driveway like trying not to fucking look at them and shit it was it was really really funny i doing my best not to listen but it, some of the shit they were saying was corny as fuck. Like, I'm just never going to get to the finish line with you. <laughs> <laughs> shit like that. What does that even imply? Like, I don't know, bro. But it We're never going to die together. What the fuck? I think, you know, he's just saying they're going to argue all the time. But uh, anyways, he has a he's mowing the lawn or was mowing the lawn and she starts fucking going off at him. He just rips the lawnmower and just continues. I was like, oh, shit. Conversation over. Damn, dude. <laughs> and my fucking Uber pulls up. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, thank God, man. That was that was awkward. And he's like, what? What? And I was like, my neighbors were arguing. And he's like, your neighbors arguing. And he had a, like a thick-ass accent. And so I was like, what? Where are you from? He was like, Moscow. <laughs> <laughs> and in my head, I'm like, I was literally just watching <laughs> fucking videos on these guys. Um, but yeah, he fucking moved, I guess, like, you know, six months or so ago out of Russia. And uh, he can't can't fly to the U.S. from Russia, I guess. So he had to go to Mexico. And he fucking went through the border in Mexico with awesome. all the all the homies down there. <laughs> and he said he didn't speak any Spanish, uh, didn't speak any English, he just spoke Russian, which isn't a good thing. <laughs> and uh, there was some Indian guy that spoke some Russian that helped him get through the border. And uh, he ended up going to like New York City and fucking doing shit up there. I guess that's where he got his car and then now he's Ubering down here. Hell but, yeah, dude. The Ruskies are badass. Like, Yeah, he fucking bounced because they started doing that uh, draft for the yeah, army over too. there and he's like, fuck this. I don't want to go fight for that. And so he working on getting his family over here and shit and i was like you know high five bro <laughs> that's the that's the american dream man welcome to the west <laughs> like it's the best yeah so he was all asking where he should go i was like check out california if, you, if you're into the sites and beaches and stuff you want to see some beautiful country Get the fuck out of Texas and <laughs> yeah, go somewhere else. So that was cool. That was interesting. That is sure. badass, dude. It was trippy, you know. Just yeah, I've like, got a, a Ukrainian couple that lives here now with a baby. And really, yeah, I think I told you this. It came the little baby came sprinting at my dog, <laughs> and the fucking the the dad was just smoking a cigarette, laughing like, oh, ha, ha, baby get eaten. Like, no, dude. I was, like, running away with my dog. Like, no, you don't understand. She will destroy that child. Like, ha, ha, ha. It's okay. He's a Ukrainian baby, and we're going to replace him with an American baby. Very soon. <laughs> we're working on it right now. <laughs> it's wild. Like, European fucking, like, 
bone structure in women is wild, dude. They've got the biggest fucking jaws on the planet. Like, oh. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? And it's everywhere. But y'all yeah. fucking got some big old heads, dude. What the fuck? Right? Some awkward shapes for sure. <laughs> yeah, dude. Out there. And you can just <laughs> see the past like trauma of like generational trauma just printed on their faces. Like, yeah, dude. Like y'all had a lot of civil wars, a lot of genocide. Like it is just apparent. Like, yes. Yeah. You can kind of tell just by like looking at somebody, like certain features are <laughs> yeah, dude. from areas. So. Yeah, you're like, damn, you look kind of like Big Bird. You must be from Eastern Europe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, All right. <laughs> you got some fucked up teeth. No, you must be from England. Close enough. <laughs> but yeah, dude, uh, here's a fun fact. Did you know Big Bird has like, it's different versions in uh, different countries are different colors. So Big Bird in like Europe is blue. Big Bird in Mexico is red and green. Like Big Bird in Brazil is green and yellow. Like, did you know Damn. any of that? It's fucking no. cool, dude. I did not. Yeah, I follow the Sesame Street Twitter and Big Bird was like, oh, so y'all discovered my cousins. Let me introduce everyone. <laughs> like, yay, thanks, Big Bird. Did you know that Big Bird was supposed to go into the challenger yeah i heard about that which is terrifying yeah they're concerned that he was too big <laughs> hey, <look laughs> that name. thank god yeah thank goodness dude you know how crazy it would have been to find like charred yellow feathers just floating right. on top of the ocean <laughs> yeah that would have been nuts that would have been tragic, dude. Can change the mood of Sesame Street pretty fucking quick. <laughs> uh, it appears <laughs> that Big Bird has died on the Challenger. Boom! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, craziness. Na, 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 na. Big Bird's dead. Aww. <laughs> um, I suffered through the Flash. Dude, holy shit! From the like straight from the jump, yeah, it is so bad, dude. What the fuck was that? I had to like take it in doses. I was watching it a little bit one day, and I was like, "All right, that's enough." enough. And then I pieced it another day, and I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck that." Okay, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it, it was, there was weird parts that I enjoyed though. I enjoyed two parts. Uh, let me hear what you you enjoyed, and I'll tell you what I enjoyed. Um, like, I kind of did enjoy seeing uh, Michael Keaton and shit, and the whole retro Batman was pretty awesome. Um, but it felt wrong. It felt like a cheat code in a video game. And <laughs> yeah, like you reskinned the characters. Like, ooh, yeah. I'm Batman. And I, I didn't like how he was kind of like Thor, you know, when he gets that fat belly and the beard and shit. And it was just like kind of a typical like, all right, we've seen that before. Um, but still seeing him back in action was pretty cool. And, you know, shows you that you can actually do that shit. Um, and then I thought Supergirl was not bad um but like her face looked weird like her hair too like her, the animation of that was kind of strange but her character like kicking ass was kind of cool and fuck yeah dude i thought she was pretty dope um it's like it was just weird because you know how they like have such a build up for the the women heroes and this chick just kind of like came out the gate and was like, Oh yeah, I'm a fuck shit up <laughs> yeah. and like got after it. And it was like man of steel style too. So they were like, 
you know, going ripping through dirt and buildings and shit and using big ass objects for weapons. That was cool. Yeah, so um, okay. That was one of the things I enjoyed was Supergirl. Yeah. Anything else that you liked? I think that's pretty much it. There's a lot that I didn't like. <laughs> yeah. Let, let, me, found... let me get the things that I liked out of the way. I liked Supergirl a lot. She made absolutely no sense in the canon of that universe that they set up. Because right. they established there's no metahumans. So she wouldn't exist. Neither would the Flash. Mm -hmm. The end, like, um, but she was great uh, as an actress. She's great as the character. She was great. Nothing like any Supergirl that's ever been, which I didn't like, but very cool because she kicked some major ass, which was awesome. Yeah. Um, and I liked the there's one scene where before barry gets his powers back and the new flash has his powers he's like he moves him like a foot and he's like what just oh. happened <laughs> oh, he just starts puking i was like yeah Shit. that made me giggle like fuck and then he started he's puking like the entire fight I'm like all right i like this this is funny yeah then, there were small moments like that and I, I liked his relationship with his mom. Um, they just, that's not, basically, Flash, his mom is murdered by the reverse Flash in the future. And he runs back in time, kills his mom, and his dad gets blamed for it. And in this movie, it's a fucking can of tomatoes. So it's like, oh, okay, what the fuck? <laughs> so you took one of Flash's arch nemesis. That's like the Green Goblin turning into a can of green beans. Yeah, you can't. You can't just. You just can't do that. Sorry. That sucks. And not, I hate it. Not in this movie. You can do whatever you want. Apparently. They didn't even abide by the rules. Yeah, that they set up themselves. Yeah, there's no meta scripted it. Except now there's meta humans. I'm like, well, what? Yeah. And Batman, having no idea that super people exist, is like, yeah, I know everything about the multiverse. Look, it's like spaghetti. Right. Like, He's what? all the teacher at first. It's like, how do you know anything about this? Like, super people don't exist. And Gotham is one of the safest cities in the world. And so you've retired? It seems like the Flash just came in and fucked up your universe. <laughs> everything else was great. Like Gotham is so safe that you're able to grow your hair out and eat spaghetti? Like, that sounds dope, dude. Yeah. That's what I'm doing right now currently. <laughs> it's just dope. But yeah, I don't know, man. Ever since Infinity War... We've been diving into this fucking multiverse type shit, and no, that was that was Endgame, not Infinity War. Was it? In All right, Endgame. Yeah, whatever. And Endgame sucked dick, dude. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Like they, yeah, all the multiverses they, are fucking bullshit, dude. Like we've been there, done that, and you don't need to fucking explain it anymore. And half of it's the like flash. spaghetti. Do you see how the spaghetti touches? These are actually unchangeable events. Yeah, dude. We fucking get it. <laughs> and it just drug out and they kept re exploring it. Like, oh yeah, this is like really dramatic stuff, man. Nobody cares. And and then you just can't help that, you know. The fucking star, the double star of the movie is a fucking child grooming Hawaii assaulting piece of shit. And it's right. like you're, you're never going to get past that. Like, yeah. Ever. And it sucked because some of his stuff was funny and worked. Yeah. 
My but, biggest problem was like, dude, shave your fucking nasty ass chest, bro. Like, why the fuck right. do we want to see your hairy ass nipples? Like, I get it. Like, that's the only chest hair <laughs> you'll ever be able to grow. But it's like, bro, take it off, dude. You're Barry Allen. You're a fucking teenager. You shouldn't have that much fucking hair on your chest. Right. You're weird, dude. I don't think the director wanted to fuck with that. Yeah, dude. I'm sure the director was just like, oh, Jesus Christ. It oh, looks Christ. fantastic. <laughs> looks great, Ezra. Your weird nipples. Fucking going great. to the big screen. <laughs> you're gonna make it you're gonna be big in this town with your hairy nipples. Make sure you look awkward. Look make, real fucking awkward. And you know, you've got to groom children if you want to make it anywhere in this town. That's right. You gotta punch women. Are you good with punching women? <laughs> Don't forget about sexually assaulting people on camera. Clearly, the person didn't want to kiss you. So kiss them. It'll be great. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? You're doing great, kid. You're doing great. You're going to be big. This town's going to love you. <laughs> fuck, it's so weird, dude. I'm telling you, you're in the fast lane. You're on the fast lane. Get it like the flash. I'm going wow. quick. Quick, quick, boy. <laughs> but I, I meant down. Shit. You're... Oh no, you're going fast down. Oh my god, you've crashed. You've burned. Yeah, supernova. You know what? Actually, I knew it the whole time. You were going nowhere, kid. <laughs> you're right. So yeah, I guess uh you know we'll give it to super supergirl. Supergirl was great, dude. I liked her a lot. Um yeah. Her suit was neat, her acting was good. Um and the curves on that thing. Uh actually that was she said that it was androgynous and could have been used for a girl and guy, so I wouldn't put any sexist overtones on that and talking about her boobs. Oh. Yeah. Fucking pig. Well, oh, I don't know. I I looked her up. Yeah, she's great. Honestly, I think she's out. I didn't I don't think so. I clicked on two different videos, their interviews. Oh, and I that, only look at the Photoshop pictures. I don't ever look at no. the pictures. I want the illusion to be there. Dude. You didn't hear that laugh that she has. Ew, does she have a gross laugh? It's really loud. Oh, And, and gross, obnoxious. Dude. And I clicked on two videos and heard it right out the gate both times. I was like, all right, well, that's enough of that. <laughs> Disgusting. I hate I hate it. And the crush is killed. <laughs> that sucks so bad. So long, Supergirl. So long, Supergirl. You were never meant for this world. <laughs> You'll never get anywhere with that laugh. <laughs> You're going nowhere. Hold on, I'm I'm pulling up. Ew! 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 <laughs> but yeah but that's you can tell that's a fucking like completely forced like look good Maybe. <laughs> oh, this chick's been in front of the green screen for too long right <laughs> well can't stop it We'll dub it over an ADR. Don't worry, girl. You're going places. <laughs> Never mind. Get out of here. <laughs> Don't make her laugh. We're glad the SAG after is still on strike. <laughs> yeah. So that was funny. <laughs> Damn, dude. That sucks. Yeah, it just ruined everything for me. Thanks a lot, dude. You're welcome. Gosh, I was writing her. We were talking. Really? Yeah, dude. That's dope. No, nah, the only famous chick that I used to talk to was this famous DJ in Korea. Uh, I remember you telling me this story. Yeah, it was really sad. Like, it is upsetting. She was so cool and like, was like the baggy, hoodie, beanie wearing girlfriend type. Yeah. And, and, like, she got like, contracted out through a 
like a k-pop agency so now like her skin is pale white she got short blonde hair gigantic fake tits and just wears like string bikinis now and just shakes her ass and tits for the camera i mean she's <laughs> way more famous but like she was like the cute mousy girl and now she's like the hot bombshell it's fuck dude what have they done to you what yeah have they done to you it's like the korean michael jackson yeah, something like that. <laughs> Good analogy. Lots of plastic surgery, a lot of skin whitening treatments. <laughs> and uh, I don't know anything about her love life, but I'm assuming yeah. she loves adults. So We can only hope. Well, I mean, I'll be your little baby. That's fine, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you got to act like a little Korean boy. I just pictured in my head just Dragon Ball Z, like little Gohan. Oh, dude, Gohan, <laughs> my favorite, dude. With a little bowl cut. <laughs> yep. Oh, that would be perfect, dude. I let her carry me around. I can be a. Nah, uh... I mean, well, I probably wouldn't be able to resist like her now, but I wouldn't be as happy now than I was when she wasn't like plastic, you know? Yeah, man, you gotta appreciate the all natural. Absolutely, dude. I don't That's like what I'm all that about. stuff. Yeah, but my my heart lies elsewhere. I'm going to vietnam and that's where i'm gonna find my wife mm -hmm. and she's gonna be amazing whatever dude you're chasing her it's a little Listen, close to korea if i wanted to go to korea i would just go to korea okay you're not fooling anyone listen the living expenses in korea is a lot more on par with america i'm not gonna move across halfway across the world just to be broke in a different country <laughs> Going to the third world, my dude, where I can actually eat, bro. Yeah. Fuck. I don't know. I've always thought that I could live happily in the Bahamas broke and just living off the ocean on a yeah. boat. I mean, you would get macheted like a fucking Haitian, dude. You know how well, wild crime is in the Bahamas? No. It's insane, <laughs> dude. I know Haiti's pretty crazy, but I'm not going to go to Haiti. I was thinking of like some atoll somewhere in the middle of the Atlantic. Yeah, there's a reason that all of the resorts have giant 10 foot fences surrounded the entire place. And they warn you don't leave the footprint of the resort because you just get yeah. murdered. Don't. Uh, have you never watched the news and all of a sudden it's like there's a blonde woman missing she was at a resort she got drunk and lured away and we'll never see her again yep that's about right huh. <laughs> that's well, about right i've always wanted to be a pirate so maybe i'll do the killing why don't you go to somalia where the pirates legitimately exist that would be dope, I dude. I don't feel like they'll accept me. They would call you like they'd give you a cool like ghost related name, like the ghost of the bay. Because you're white. And they're like, yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. You could be like you could lure in the Americans, like, no, oh, don't worry. Like, I'll be your guide. I'll get you through this. And you're like, give me all your fucking money. Me and my pirate boys are gonna fucking kick you with a AK or a machete, dude. Maybe both. <laughs> damn hold this newspaper ask for a ransom we're gonna fill me on to like a 1998 nokia phone show me and, and they would did. just call me the penguin no they would call you like the ghost of the isles that orca dope dude yeah they call you orca orca boy <laughs> or they just call you king one because that's a clever name yeah, I'm the king of the pirates, dude. And I'm kind of like a penguin. Black and white, dude. 
I mean, they do have penguins in South Africa. You're right. Macaroni penguins. Um, I'm not going to lie. They're pretty fucking ugly, dude. Yeah. They're the ugly ones, just like everything else from Africa. <gasps> Did I say that? <laughs> Holy shit. Holy pooper, dude. That's racist. That's totally racist, dude. You can't say that. Shut up. I got sick from a black woman. You leave me alone. Oh, you didn't mention that. Wow. Why the fuck would I? <laughs> what a weird thing. Of course I got sick. She happened to be black, dude. Of course. Every time a white dude sleeps with a black woman he gets and sick. you're talking to another white dude, you're supposed to immediately come out with that <laughs> shit. All right. We can Here's discuss. Here's her hairstyle. This is the color of her skin. What was it like? <laughs> oh great i got sick so was it worth it i mean yeah actually i just found out that uh, it wasn't her that got me sick i was texting my friend and it was little little baby niece that got us sick man fuck that bitch she's six months old she needs to get that shit together dude dude guess what i bought her i bought her well, one, I bought her a cell phone, but it's like a baby toy cell phone. <laughs> so it's pretty funny. It's okay. called like Baby Selfies. And nice. It's a cell phone shape, and it's got a mirror instead of a like phone screen. And so she can look at herself and then click a button and it plays music. Uh, but it's supposed to help with like self-recognition. Uh, like, hey, this is me. Like learning mm -hmm. with your brain. But I got her a uh, what is it? So it's called I Dig. Maybe yeah, I dig it rocks and fossils. And it's basically uh plaster of Paris, and inside of it is fossils and like amethysts and pyrite, and so it comes with like a little chisel. Damn. Yeah, dude. And I got some for the whole family. So we're going over there later today. We're going on an archaeological dig, dude. <laughs> it's going to be pretty fucking cool. That uh, does sound cool. Yeah. And then I got I her this. You can either make an elephant in an airplane, or you can take it apart and make an elephant in a fucking submarine, dude. How cool is that? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, dude. So I don't know, dude. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be the favorite uncle. Not going to lie. Yeah. And, you know, I've kind of got the spot secured because he only has sisters. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only uncle. Ha, 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 ha. Well, that worked out. I know, right? <laughs> That's a sup. Yeah, dude. Ooh. I. I brought her a box, like, and I mean fucking filled to the brim with toys, stuffies, fucking everything you can imagine. Everything that a kid would love. And the only thing she plays with is a plastic slinky. I'm like, all right, well, I, it's my slinky, so it's like, all right, I'm like, I'll take the win. But it's like, <laughs> dude, out of everything, it was just a slinky. Yeah, give it time. Fuck, dude. She'll grow up to love those toys. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Because um, I'm not going to see her for a long fucking time, and I'm going to be real sad about it. Yeah. But I'm going to have like a bunch of like Vietnamese shit to give her every time I see her, so it's going to be cool as fuck. Gonna get her like one of those baby uh, rice hats that Raiden from Mortal Kombat wears. <laughs> it's gonna be dope, dude. That would be sick. Yeah, um, all the uh, aunties and mamas in Vietnam wear that shit, so it's like cool, dude. I'm definitely giving myself a couple. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look badass, dude. There is a uh, a law in Vietnam, right, that on your motorcycle, you have to wear a hat. 
or not a hat, a helmet. But uh -huh. the law doesn't define what a helmet is. So like people will like drill holes in a five gallon bucket for eyes and wear that. They'll wear like take out styrofoam plates. Like huh. it's wild, dude. They're well they'll, <laughs> they'll cut like milk jugs in half. Right. Put that on his head, like fuck it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, dope. That's funny. No, I'm actually bringing one of the helmets that you left with me. Oh, good. Yeah, dude. That's fine. I'm gonna get some use. Finally. Holy shit. I know. <laughs> yeah, I've left a lot of little trinkets everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you offloaded half your shit on me. You're like, I don't want any of this stuff. You do something with it. <laughs> Gee, thanks. I'm already drowning in action figures and video games. <laughs> well, it paid off, didn't it? <laughs> One. One item. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Thanks. The mask is pretty cool. Well, I mean, the mask is cool now. That was not in its intended purpose. No. She's like, here's a fucking werewolf Halloween mask. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I going to do with this? Well, all right. I've got a few ideas, actually. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just fucking make it happen. All right. It's going to make the, like, the most evil creation I've possibly ever made. Um, my Star Wars show had its finale Tuesday night. Which was, was it Cassian? Ahsoka. Andor? Oh, Asuka? Asuka. Asuka and Oppenheimer. Uh, <laughs> no. But it was pretty good. It was pretty was good. It? it was very Disney. I, there was one episode, it was like third from last, that I felt like was way better than the finale. It's all good. They left it with a lot of cliffhangers, of course. And uh, they also gave us a good dose of some really nerdy Star Wars shit that was in books that not a lot of people knew about, like old was magic. It in books? Yeah. Or was it mainly referring back to the Rebels cartoon show? There's a lot of rebels in it, but there's also stuff from books in there because um, they're on they're on Daphimir, which is the home planet of Darth Maul, mm -hmm. and there's witches there who use the Force in a different kind of way, like magic, witch-like style. Wait, is it the Night Sisters? Uh, I believe so. Yes. Yes. So Mother Talon and Old Daka. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, them bitches. There's three of them. Sick. Um, so yeah, and then they recruit this other chick, and she busts out this fucking samurai sword that's flaming fucking with green sick. green flames. It's fucking yeah. so badass. Yeah, the Night Sister zombies use that green flame. It's fucking sick. Or Night Sister Ghost. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that's like their magic, right? Or yeah. Force. Yeah. So, yeah, they fucking uh, send in the stormtroopers and then they cast the spell and fucking all the dead stormtroopers get up and they're zombies. Okay, like uh, Dark Forces, the uh, book. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. They, they gave us zombie fucking stormtroopers. So... That that's part was pretty, sick. That's pretty fucking cool. I'm not going to lie, dude. Yeah. We were just talking about zombies, man. Yeah, dude. And Disney's like, okay. <laughs> yeah, we hear you boys. We hear you boys talking about zombies. Don't forget. So, yeah. I mean, I never read the books, so I'd had no fucking idea that there was such a thing, but it goes into that dark Star Wars that I was wanting, the like gritty, dark right. shit that is evil and you know like give it some fucking depth <laughs> yeah <laughs> i know? really like i saw some clips with ezra and was it sabine 
I don't know if it was yeah, her there's... or not. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh, this is fucking gay, dude. Like <laughs> their, their fucking dialogue is so shitty. Like I don't yeah. like this at all. Like they're doing the Marvel quips. Like mm-hmm. actually, I'm Tony Stark. Like no, I'm Tony Stark. Yeah, like, move on. Like people didn't even like Iron Man two. Like move yeah. the fuck on, please. You can really, you can really tell Disney's influence in the movies, and like there's these aliens that are just kind of like in the way, and they are in these weird defensive little tanks, and it's just like corny shit. You know, I know it's for kids, but. It's just like it doesn't serve any purpose besides being, oh, this is a corny ass little thing to make somebody giggle, you know, and it, it's just weird in the middle of a battle, <laughs> like stupid kid shit happens, you know. Well, it's weird that like, like you say it's for kids, but it's like there was never a like definition for kids until the prequels right like maybe yeah. return of the jedi like leaned into it real fucking hard but all the other ones especially fucking empire dude that was dark as fuck <laughs> yeah like, real dark and uh revenge of the sith real yeah. dark oh man so i don't know like I don't know why Disney thought leaning into the kids angle when all of the prequel kids were in their twenties and thirties for the sequel trilogy. Yeah. So they were just now coming into disposable income and yeah. like you should have leaned into the adult aspect because these people are now adults and the people who grew up with the original trilogy, guess what? They're still adults. So when you lean into all this kitty bullshit, it's like, yeah, you're going to turn everyone off. Sorry, dude. Right. It's such a dumb aspect. But dude, yeah. okay. Speaking of Star Wars, do you remember it used to be called Galactic Heroes, the like turn-based game for your phone? Remember we both used to play it? Yeah, until we were forced to purchase or lose yeah. forever. Yeah, so I re-downloaded it because... You I fell def- for it. Well, I mean, <laughs> I didn't pay for it, so I'm good. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, now it's Galaxy of Heroes is what it's called. And now it's just shortened to Heroes for some reason. Huh. But, um, all right, so they have... It's like a journey guide to unlock Bespin Luke. I think it's called like General Skywalker Uh uh-huh and uh no commander luke skywalker right and so you play through the death star like all of those battles where it's luke and han in like han is in his like stormtrooper outfit and then you get leia and luke and you fight more stormtroopers and then all right so you can turn up the speed to like times four speed because the game is like really slow and turn based and you can turn up the speed and make it a lot faster. But when you're old Ben, Obi-Wan Kenobi and you fight Darth Vader, you, it removes all of the uh, speed. You can't increase it at all which I thought was like really cute because like you know how slow and kind of lame that fight actually is Mm -hmm. and he takes Vader takes no damage whatsoever the only thing you can do is sacrifice old Ben to the force it's called like becoming one with the force you get this new like attack and it's like all right all right that was kind of good like I fucking hate mm-hmm. this game, but like you got me. That was cute. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. Yeah, dude. Yeah, like the actual gameplay was fun, and they they kept it entertaining until it just topped out in difficulty. And I was like, fuck. Yeah, dude. I fortunately 
I was playing that while I was in Korea. So it was before they had really implemented a lot of the pay to win shit. Yeah. That's so lucky. I, I know. So I had beaten basically everything except for the like starfighter or like the spaceship battles. So it's like, that's the only thing that's not completely maxed out. So it's like, all right, like I can grind for that kind of <laughs> just bullshit for that because everything else is just maxed to the max i like joined right. a, a guild like neat and <laughs> they're like they're pretty chill they're like dude this is fucking bullshit <laughs> like yeah dude all right like there's no like if you don't sign in every day you'll get booted automatically <laughs> they're just like yeah try your best this game's fucking lame yeah just kind of to kill time all right. We're all playing this against our will. <laughs> yeah. It's like the EA uh, Battlefront games. It's like yeah, it looks exactly. so good, but this, this play is shit. Oh, I hate it. But it's like, it's the only thing we got. So fuck yeah. it. So I was been... playing Battlefield or Battlefront 2 for the PS2. And shit's fucking great, dude. Yeah, the old one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are fucking awesome. Hell yeah, they are, dude. I love them. But I've been enjoying uh, Fortnite a lot. It's been fun. Yeah, which uh, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> the no build shit is awesome, dude. It's great. Yeah, I was uh, playing I as... talking to my friend's kid, and he's like, dude, this is the best thing that's ever happened to this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, hell yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, like they put a Ahsoka in there, and so I just unlocked her. I got a, a video I'll make eventually. Um, hell yeah, I'll, I'll be looking at your YouTube channel for that shit. Hell yeah, y'all look oh, out for it. Yeah, boy. Uh, fucking so yeah, I'm Ahsoka going upstairs, and all of a sudden I hear somebody on the <laughs> roof. I'm like, oh fuck, here we go. And I look over, I see his feet, and they're black with a cape. Oh shit! No, is it jumps Vader? down, Darth fucking Vader. No, dude, what a He's like fuck. no! Holy shit! So dude. I take my shotgun, and shoot him in the fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. That also blasted him. <laughs> die, master, die! <laughs> That's wild, dude. So yeah, it's gonna be a sick video. Like yeah, got for, murked. Are you able to use lightsabers? Uh huh. Yeah, you got to go to the spot where you go through a portal and you come back with a lightsaber. And Hell it's, yeah, it's dude, so that's sick. It's her uh, white lightsaber, and like you can block bullets and shit. It's, what? it's actually, it's really fucking cool, dude. Like, I don't know. It's a lot of fun, and the graphics are pretty awesome. So, so I played Fortnite from season one to season two. What season are they on now? I believe it's on four. There's no way it's on season four. Yeah, I could be wrong, <laughs> but I want to say they're on four. Wow, it is on season four. Uh, they just turned six no, years old. Season four, chapter four, season four. Yeah, see, I don't oh. really give a fuck about all that. I do because it's like, I I haven't played since 2016. So, well, it's way better. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Season four started December fifth, 2021. That's Season... probably like when we were playing. With our group back in the day. 2021? I was not playing Fortnite. No? No, absolutely not. Um, yeah, no fucking way, dude. But, oh, okay, what happens is... There's different chapters now. So there's chapter three, season one, chapter three, season two, three, and so on. 
And those were all like two, two, 2022. So I yeah. guess it's the chapters now that are what they're keeping track of. Cause I stopped when yeah. I was like, Oh, they changed the map. Like, Oh, this sucks later. <laughs> and then they're like, dude, a comet's coming to hit Fortnite." I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> I do remember that too. I didn't even play. Yeah, me either. <laughs> we were talking about it. Yeah. Like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Like, yeah, but what will it reveal? Like, nothing. You're right. It didn't reveal anything but a crater. Like, cool. I'm done. <laughs> but I, I'm trying to think. I don't even think there were. Um, when I was playing, there were no like IPs connected to it. So it was just like original Fortnite characters. Yeah. See, that's what I like about it. Like, there's Optimus Prime. There's Star I know there's Wars. Spider Man there's, now, which is sick, dude. Yeah. The new Spider Man. Um, what's his name? Starts with the M. Miles? Miles Morales. Miles. Yeah, he's in there. Um, the, the futuristic Spider-Man guy that's kind of the villain. Miguel O'Hara, Spider-Man 2099. Yeah, he's you can be him. Sick, dude. Um, yeah, you know, Futurama. Fucking... Lila and Fry. Shit. There's anime out the ass. Yeah, I've seen Goku, which is like, yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, I love Dragon Goku. Ball Z. It's funny too, because like Vegeta will be running up on you, and you see his big ass head. <laughs> and you're like, "Whoa, what the fuck? Who is that?" And oh, it's fucking Vegeta. <laughs> yeah, that like that was something I noticed back in like pod days, where it's like, "Look, I understand that you want to have like a shiny red gun or a shiny pink gun." Yeah. It's like you do understand. I can see y'all from like a mile away now. <laughs> yeah. I want shit that blends in, not shit that makes me look cool while I get murdered. That's right. But it's just so nice to to grind a game that's not Call of Duty. Man. Yeah. I mean, that, that's kind of how I feel about the Star Wars games. Like, it's not COD, dude. Yeah. It's not fucking COD. How much of our lives have we wasted? All because of okay. one person. <laughs> Literally one person. We're like, dude, we can't get you to play anything else. So I guess we're gonna have to fucking it's play this shit. Always Call of Duty, just Call of Duty, and I think it's still that way. Could be wrong, but we'll never know. We'll never know. We don't talk to that person <laughs> anymore. <laughs> yeah. Fucking that whole group of people were like, dude, what if we didn't mature past like? 11th grade are you fucking serious like, yeah <laughs> all right <laughs> i'm leaving but let's gonna... throw kids in the mix oh no dude are you serious like, yeah dude. i'm out like, fuck this shit dude no we can still party no we cannot young man <laughs> you got a fucking child reared we need to you need to no. do whatever the fuck you need to do to grow up Everyone can just bring their kids to the party. No, thank you. Uh, look, I know that, like, perpetually, like, it's fun to be a child, but, like, there are adult things that you need to do. Like, and that group just confuses anger and, like, frustration with being an adult. It's like, right. Yeah, that's not how it works, dude. That's how generational trauma works. Yeah, that's how you just. <laughs> Fuck up your child worse. Yeah. Like, hey, let's continue this streak. Like, All right, great. It is nice to just kind of do whatever you want and not give a fuck. <laughs> you know? It's amazing, dude. Let me it's fucking tell so you. So nice. Let me tell you. That's why I'm like, I'm still mad that I have to fucking tell you and my brother. Look, it's five hundred dollars. It's not getting any fucking cheaper. Why the fuck haven't y'all gotten vasectomies yet? Like, yeah, no, it's a good idea. 
Yeah, it's like, dude, it's reversible if you really want a kid. Like, if you really want it. Yeah. But it's like, well, I no, I'm going to put that problem off on the woman. Like, she needs to be in charge of birth control. Like, nah, dude, you do. Just fucking do it. Like, what the fuck? Please. True. You're, You're going right. to get baby trapped, bro. Like, and it's not like y'all having a child is going to be the end of the world. It's y'all having a child, even accidentally, is going to cause resentment of that child. Or it's just going <laughs> to be like, it's a guarantee. Hey, this person is going to be in my life for the rest of my life. Yeah. No matter what. Like, she, she could cheat. You could cheat. And both of y'all still have to be an adults. And they're like, well, we're raising a child. It's like, dude, that just is the shitty part. Go to Planned that Parenthood. Get a vasectomy. It's over with, dude. You can masturbate the same day if you really want to. Or you can fuck the yeah. same day. I masturbated the first day because I knew that, like, I'd only have one chance in my life to ever do it. And I did <laughs> it. And it hurt. And blood came out. And I was like, all right. Ooh, lesson learned. It's kind of awesome, though. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty strange. It was yeah. crazy, dude. It was so good. I was like, oh, is that blood? All right. I don't know if you've ever, if you ever masturbated before you could come as a kid, where like <laughs> your balls just kind of pulsate and it's painful. That's what it felt like. It's just like, ah, 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 <laughs> fuck. This is great. Shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it was so funny, dude. Yikes. I wore like essentially a diaper for like a week. I would just shove toilet paper and like gauze down like the front of my fucking boxers. Looks like I had a giant dick. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm just picturing like a Teletubby. <laughs> yeah, running around. Do, 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 do. Big old belly, but it's in my cock. Right. Yeah, dude. Cock and like, there's only local anesthesia, and they like up near your hip bones is where they inject it because that's where your vas deferens is. Mm -hmm. when it goes down and it's like you can watch the entire thing it's fucking sweet dude i'm gonna like, look it up right now okay don't <laughs> i mean look up prices and shit but uh oh penis <laughs> yeah of course what did you expect dude there's penis everywhere 3d penis wow i can see inside Oh, there's a couple groups. Yeah, there's the Austin Urology Group. There's yeah, the changing the game for men. Vasectomy. Austin Vasectomy Center with Dr. Per Parviz Cavusi. Yeah, I wonder if he's white. <laughs> Fucking says hard lumps called sperm. Spermatoceles? Grand granulomas caused by sperm leaking from the tubes. Ugh. Yep. Yeah, it's basically like, you know, infections. The only downfalls. It's fucking over 99% effective. <laughs> yeah. Who would have guessed? Yeah, who would have guessed if you fucking literally have surgical intervention, you won't get pregnant. Crazy. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah, dude. And I would look at... Uh... Okay, so right now, without insurance, it's 850 typically. Uh, still... That's like a thousandth of what it costs to raise a child. I'm finding one for $561. No, that's totally worth it, dude. 
the Texas regional average is 675. Yeah, what one says same day no scalpel. Yeah, so what they How do does that work. It's through lasers. It's pretty fucking sick, dude. Ooh, lasers. Yeah, dude. I like lasers. Lasers are sick. And you get to watch your shit get carterized and like you can see smoke coming up from the vast efferens. <laughs> fucking <laughs> hilarious, dude. Because it's like a combination of burnt hair and yeah. burnt flesh. You're like, ooh, what the fuck? Damn, dude. It's pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I watched every second of it. Like this. What the fuck? What? This guy says, choose the only fellowship trained vasectomy surgeon. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> this guy got trained in the church? What's wrong with that, dude? You got a real problem getting church people, dude. You really need to come to terms with that. I don't trust them. Yeah, well... You should trust them because they believe that God is watching them fuck up. So, you know, they might be your best option because uh, they believe if they fuck up, they'll go to hell. So I don't. I'm watching them with both eyes at all times. Good. Good. Don't fucking trust them. Why? You fucking <laughs> weirdo. <laughs> this is such a bizarre... You really don't like Christians. Every time I talk about them, you're like, dude, fuck them. <laughs> Bro, they haven't been crazy for like over a decade. And you're still like, I don't fucking know. Sure? I don't fucking know. Dude, when was the last time you've even heard about Christianity and politics? I don't know, with all the fucking abortion stuff. Yeah, abortion got overturned. Now it's up for the states to choose. Well, there you go. Is that, is that Christianity or is that states' rights? Well, it's states' rights now, but I believe that it was started in the network of church uh, agendas. Right. So but they I do mean, affect politics. Of course. That's because... Stuff. But so do your, like, quote-unquote, religious beliefs, right? So, like, if you ascribe to climate change, that's a religion. If you ascribe to, like, gender theory, that's a religion. Like, a religion is anything that can't be questioned. Like, that's what religion is versus science. And if you can't question the science on anything, then that's a religion. Right. But, so that's okay. been infecting our politics for the last like 16 years. I get that. And if I was in charge, I'd find a nice middle ground for everyone to stand in. Yeah, except for the Christians, right? No, I'd let them do their shit, but they ain't going to impose their shit on everybody else. I don't know. The, the takeaway that I think isn't bad is kind of a logical stance is should the government be funding abortions? No. That's what their whole stance was. The government should stop funding abortion clinics. But they like fucking went for the touchdown and like outlawed that shit. Yeah, but it was outlawed Prior to the 70s, well, it's like, was it really that much of a change? Like, we had 50 years of women getting abortions constantly. And, like, don't get me wrong, I don't, like, construe what I'm saying. I believe every woman should have access to abortions if she actually doesn't want to raise a child. Right. But I'm trying to look at it through a Christian lens where... They do believe that you're murdering children. Yeah, like, and not you know, arguing against that. That's exactly what the fuck you're doing. Right. So I understand where they're coming from, but they aren't going to do anything for the adoption 
uh, places that slip in my head. The orphanage area, um, those places suck. And the foster families shit is full of crime and crazy oh, shit. Lots that's of sexual going on. So uh, they're like not going to do anything for that stuff, but they're going to pump more babies into that system. Well, no, that's you know? kind of like where it's basically like running on lily pads, right? Where the ground is so unstable because think of all of the Christian families you see that have like black children from like Africa, like Guatemalan children that have been left behind. Like they are the families that raise like, basically like brain dead unable to even like communicate children you know what i mean like because they see it as like god's gift and so that's just kind of the burden they've been put on and like fuck it we're raising this child as one of our own like and that's where <laughs> i see that only happens in christian communities and so you know i will push back a little bit on that but i do understand where because they've cut off access for people to have abortions then those people then go out and flood the orphanages and adoption agencies with new children fresh meat right mm -hmm. so it's you know it is a very tricky sort of it's like dude i don't have an answer i believe that yeah you're killing children but you should have the right to have an abortion like because up until you know the 50s a woman's highest chance of death was childbirth and that was right throughout all of history and for men it was tooth abscess which is funny but <laughs> <laughs> yeah but so it's such but, a complicated issue where it's like dude do i think the state should have a right to whether or not they are funding those clinics yeah but do i think you should take away the right for a woman to have one like eh, no right but do i also think that it leads to like a society of promiscuity where women face no consequences for having like a fuck ton of partners and being gross and sexually like disgusting constantly, which is right. then led into like the only fans epidemic. It's like, Oh well, yeah. Then it's like, dude, it's so like, it's like, dude, I don't know. And I'm just happy that I took the right step in my life to like ultimately get rid of the chances of me having a child. It will never happen unless i want it to happen how it should be right like totally that's it's all not, i know it's not the 50s anymore it's yeah. 2023 y'all <laughs> yeah we're not raising a nuclear family this is i mean none of us can even afford a home to raise a nuclear family so exactly Go no get that shit leave it to beaver dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude i've been pushing this shit for a decade and you still haven't so who well, knows how many little baby penguins are running around, dude? You got some Prince Ones just infecting Texas. No, I'm you good. don't. You don't know that, dude. Ninety-nine percent sure. I mean, I don't know that either because I, I used to believe like if you smoke pot, you can't get girls pregnant. <laughs> because I don't know, the internet was fucking really young. Yeah, there's there. estrogen in there. No, I heard it uh, led to lower sperm count. So I was just like, dude, come dumping left and right. Like, fuck I think yeah. That's, that's fuck still yeah. a thing, bro. Well, I mean, whatever the reason was, I certainly was just fucking cream pie and left and right in high school. And it's just like, yeah, you're good, dude. Isn't that awesome. wild? <laughs> fucking sweet. And then Dumbass. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say he was our friend, but definitely that dude who worked for Chuck E. Cheese. Who the oh, first yeah. time losing his virginity? Oh my god! Literally got his girlfriend pregnant, and well, she was a Catholic, so that baby was was coming out no matter what. 
Oh yeah. So, man, he got fucked. Ooh, on a Chuck E. Cheese salary too, bro. Yeah, that, that was rough. And I like I really felt for the guy because like he was a year younger than me, so he was in your grade. Yeah. And we had a combined science class. And there were a lot of jocks in that science class in my grade. And that kid was also in that class. And mm. he got fucking railed on constantly, dude. And like I always saw him as just a nerd, like not someone that deserved all the hate and shit. But damn, did God have a fucking fucked up plan for him, dude? Oh yeah. Holy shit. Rough life, that guy. Yeah. But I mean, that was a lot of the people that stayed home. Like, like yeah. fuck it, let's have children accidentally to drug addict fucking abusers. Like, All right. And good idea. I was like. You know what? I like Chuck E. Cheese too. I love Chuck E. Cheese. I I grew up in Chuck E. Cheese. Hell yeah, dude. They started serving beer. Like, yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Chuck E. Cheese is the shit. Yeah. That's where I fell in love with pizza and video games. Gambling. I was that was <laughs> that was another place that I wasn't allowed to go to. Really? Until one of my really white trash friends had a birthday there. And, like, my parents, like, their parents didn't pay attention enough to tell my parents that they're taking Old Coyote and Dusted to Chuck E. Cheese for his birthday. Except, <laughs> I was Dustin's only friend. And during the PS2 era, Dustin had a Sega Genesis. So that's how, like... We're talking low income, dude. Mm -hmm. And so just like his mom smoked packs and packs of cigarettes in the house and shit. Yeah, the kid uh, was lucky to be having that birthday party. Dude, let me fucking tell you. So it was just me and Dustin. And we had pizza. We had tickets, dude. We got into the fucking jungle gym. There was a fucking animatronic fucking concert, dude. Yeah. Only time I ever went to Chuck E. Cheese, and that shit was the coolest, dude. And it was before he had that like weaselly uh like re-image where he was like a fucking scrawny nerd. Back yeah. like fat Chuck E. Cheese when he had a belly, chubby cheeks. Like, dude, this is so fucking cool, dude. I don't ever want to leave. <laughs> it does something for a kid. It's like this is it. This is like my favorite place. Dude, I've been trying for a month now to convince my friend who just moved here to go with me to Dave and & Buster's. And of course, he's like, dude, I'm a surgeon in the army. My wife's a doctor in the army. Dude, you're just making excuses. Let's go to Dave & Buster's, dude. <laughs> Fuck your fucking obligations, dude. Like, dude, I just had a baby. He's like, I don't care. Dave & Buster's, dude. <laughs> I found a card with like two hundred dollars of tokens. I'm like, let's go, dude. My treat, please. We got six hundred tokens. Let's fucking play games, please. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't want to go by yourself. No, of course not. Isn't that like a totally different experience going to an arcade by yourself? You're just like quiet and like, what game do I want to play? Maybe this one. Well, all right. Just kind of moping around. <laughs> let me let me give a uh, visual example to the people at home. I am six foot one. I'm about a hundred pounds. I have hair down to my shoulders. Typically, I have a Gandalf beard. I use a cane to walk. And typically, I'm so high, I don't know what's going on. And I have vision problems and I have hearing problems. What so a great guy. I could possibly, without my knowledge, be staring at you and you could be yelling at me and I would have no idea. So the creep level is probably times a million if I'm by myself in a place that's surrounded with children. So there's just no fucking way I'm doing that by myself. And then I picture you like getting mad at a game. <laughs> oh, this is bullshit, dude. 
<laughs> I'm fucking oh. supposed to win a super monkey ball. I can't even fuck this stupid shit. Timmy, give me come my stuffed here. animal, dude. <laughs> Timmy, get over here. Get away from that man, Timmy. Get away from him. <laughs> this is fucking stupid. And because I have hearing problems, my voice, like, I don't know the volume of my voice. So I could be, like, screaming. Like, all right, all right another homeless dude on fentanyl wandered in. Yeah. Fuck, dude. I need enough tickets for the quesadilla. This is bullshit, dude. Yeah, that's another thing. Um, they have candy for tickets. They have comic books for tickets. But they also have menu items for tickets. So you could fucking have like the entire day. That's you right. Get a, play a bunch of games, get your tickets, cash ins for some pizza, for some hot dogs, for some fries, and then go and have a meal and read your comic books. Eat some candy too. Yeah. That is dope. Let me let me think. Uh toy na. Toy not shot it means I read books and toy tick kale means I like candy. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, dude. I like candy, bro. <laughs> I need to learn how to say that one. That was great. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Let me see if I can read one off. Oh, God. You're going to have such a hard time, dude. You're gonna see letters you've never seen before. Like, what the fuck? What are all these fucking <laughs> symbols, man? <laughs> Let me tell you, dude. And it's so deceiving because it's like, oh, that kind of looks like a U, but that kind of looks like an A. Like, that's a D, kind of like a dollar sign, though. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I have a new favorite. <laughs> uh, Cho cheat. Cho cheat, huh? means dead dog dead dog dead dog cho cheat so it's ya that's the cho you're trying to say ya ya wow so, i would have not expected that yeah i know <laughs> okay you see like and then i don't know what how do you spell the cheat it's c h e with some fucked up symbols above it and t so it's probably Ya Chet. But it it could be cheat, but it's doubtful. Um, unless it's like an upward pointing arrow. Yes, it's got the arrow and there's a a line like a an apostrophe squiggle. above okay. it. Yeah, that's so just the arrow is like the long vowel symbol. So it's probably Chet. Okay, cool. I guessed right. Ya oh, Chet. So what is it? Yaw? Chet? Chet, yeah. Cool. Dead dog. Vietnamese. What's up? Thanks. Toy Jaw Queen Machut means I speak, but only a little. <laughs> let me let me see if you can guess this one. Pisa. Please. Pisa. Pizza. Yep. Sick. Chocola. That's chocolate. Yup. Uh Don Gita. Hit me with it again. Don Gita. Uh I don't know. Guitar. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don <laughs> Gita. Uh here's a hard one. Bon hamburger. <laughs> I think he's trying to say hamburger. Yup, you got it, dude. You got it. You see, you know Vietnamese, dude. It's All easy. right, what about this loan? Loan. As in, it's like. L O N, but the O's got the point, the arrowhead. So it's prob probably lawn or loan. Loan. I don't know. Hit me with it. It's cunt pussy. Cunt pussy. Yeah, cunt slash pussy. All right, you're not learning the fun words that I would like learning. 
I don't want to go around calling people cunt pussies. I want dead dogs. Yeah, dead dogs. <laughs> and cunt pussy. <laughs> Fucking asshole, dude. I'm learning like really nice things. Like, I'm just going to be a dick if I come to visit you, okay? Play Choi Don Guitar. I'm really going to push their buttons. Yeah, you're going <laughs> to. You realize this is a fucking communist regime. Like, they don't get their buttons yeah. pushed. You go to the gulags, dude. I ain't scared. Yeah, well, you should be. This ain't like America, bro. There's no freedom of speech. I'm an American. <laughs> yeah, not while you're there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you better understand you, that fast. You can't touch me. You better I'm an be American. Respectful of the culture, or I will be the first person to ditch you, dude. Fucking like, Navy dude, SEALs will be I don't in here know so shit. motherfucking fast. No, dude. The fucking Vietnamese army. Yeah, talk about Red Army, dude. The ones that fucking beat America. Yeah, they'll be back. Like, yeah, dude. We've been waiting for a motherfucker like you. I ain't dude, scared of no They'll Charlie. take you to the little punji traps. You fucking step on a stick spike covered in shit. And you'll it's... suffer a long death. Doesn't phase me, man. I'm Shut a plumber. Dude, you're not even invited anymore. <laughs> Enjoy your shit, dude, with your dead dogs and your cunt pussy. Enjoy America, dude. Interest rates are about to be fucking 7% for mortgages. Enjoy, dude. I would have shared a condo with you, but not anymore. Disrespectful of their culture, dude. I'm talking about how <laughs> I love candy. <laughs> cunt pussy, dead dogs. Dude, I don't know him. <laughs> fuck, dude. They're gonna love me. And they'll think I'm hilarious, you know. No, they won't. <laughs> no, they won't, dude. We're talking about a culture that thinks it's too like too affectionate to hold hands in public. Oh. Yeah, dude. We're we're talking like America reflected in a mirror. That's how opposite it is. Wow. There's, they don't raise their voices. They don't fucking yell. They don't like cause any like public disturbances. It's like no, Holy we're very shit. polite. We're very like. You gotta understand, like, the, there was the threat of death from a communist regime. So it's like, all right, mm. mind your mind your p's and q's, dude. Just it's, hearing that made me relax a little bit, like knowing. <laughs> That people aren't on the streets fucking yelling and fighting and doing stupid ass shit. That Dude, sounds I'm nice. Telling you, like, <laughs> all right, and they have what's called a slow food culture where, all right, let's say you order a coffee, right? Let's say you get like a 32 ounce coffee. Yeah. It'll be filled to the brim with ice, and then you'll get 16 ounces of coffee because. In their culture, you sit and hang out, and you're expected to let the ice melt so it slowly replenishes your coffee. And, like, you're supposed to hang out for an hour or more just drinking coffee, just kind of shooting the shit, hanging out with people. Like, that sounds cool. Yeah, dude. It's incredibly slow, incredibly like community and family oriented. What about a. Uh cannabis well I know, it's, I know they got it of course they have it and it's not i mean it is illegal but it's not like california illegal no nah, i'd say more like texas illegal but like austin illegal okay um because thailand is their neighbor and it's completely legal countrywide in thailand they just don't like heroin like well, yeah, understandable. And like up until 2016, heroin dealers were put to death. Wow. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude. So, uh, I mean, yeah, they, fuck, they, they, uh, they don't fuck around. And they also like, they're like, oh, you abuse children? Immediate death. I'm like, no, no, no. We don't fuck around with that, dude. Like, you, you're lucky you're getting a trial. Like, yeah. you're, you're going to die, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, there was this badass gang member, right? Who had bribed about like a hundred 
really high up politicians and like people throughout the regime and so they had a trial of like over a hundred people and 40 of like, 45 of them were put to death they're like no, no 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 we don't fuck around with that shit like y'all are y'all just die the end intense <laughs> yeah dude it's pretty wild so i'm Be like, nice or die yeah or just like it's all about respect like just be respectful don't cause a scene don't be stupid yeah. don't be american like i would love that so i'm much. telling you dude if you ever like if you reach a point in life where you're like dude i cannot do this anymore like i can't listen to the chirping of this woman ever again like dude just fucking come like make sure you've got a thousand dollars for a one-way trip and like we'll figure out visas and right. everything else like i got you a spot dude you know one of my many condos it's true man like that's like my main focus now is to not get caught up bitching and complaining about the status of shit and just like trying to have a positive day and not fucking you know partake in that stuff it's really hard well what i was gonna say is our culture is not designed for that we're, right. We have a fear-mongering culture where everyone feels entitled to feel victimized. And the effect of that is you're either mad about something or mad about how wimpy the people are complaining and mad about something. Oh, yeah. And so it's like they've completed a, a perfect loop where no one looks towards the like structure of the elites to say we need to dismantle this they think well it's a black and white issue it's a republican democrat issue it's a fucking rich versus poor issue when really it's literally like a hundred people that we could send to the guillotine and america would be perfect i'm not even joking we could fucking kill them and america would be perfect because we would release the stranglehold of big businesses. We would release the like carbon footprint that only like 30 businesses are responsible for seven, almost 80% of all carbon emissions in the world. Like we could release all of it. And, but instead it's like, eh, my freaking pronouns, uh, dude, abortion is against God. It's like, yeah, mm -hmm. we, we could have it perfect. But we're so caught up because this is the most selfish society that has ever existed in yeah. all of humanity. Yeah, I asked that Moscow Uber driver, um, like, if he liked movies, and he's like, "Yeah," but most of the time, the Russians are the bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I was like, "Yeah, we like that story a lot." <laughs> which doesn't make any fucking sense dude like but it was hilarious like the way he said it and like both of us laughed yeah. it was just like this is kind of humbling <laughs> yeah because i mean the trajectory of what it was supposed to be is like dude we could have been like literally we could have been the greatest allies if we had just swallowed our fucking pride and been like they do it differently yeah the end like that's it sorry they do it differently let's yep. accept that and let's work together let's get to the moon together let's fucking create a defense force around the world together but we're like no dude the Ruskies are scary like they're not dude like sorry that they don't believe in like gay marriage like yeah it sucks but it's like their mentality around it is like we're not gonna let six percent of the population control anything about yeah. the way we do life and we're not going to let these pansy ass americans tell us that we're wrong it's like at least we're not putting them to death like they do in the middle east like sorry dude the end basically dude they have everything we have mcdonald's fucking shopping centers like yeah it's just a little different yeah space travel it's not a fucking foreign concept anymore. It's pretty universal, global 
globalization. Yeah, and globalization no. sucks, dude. Like, yeah, it does. It's so stupid. Like, let's not even get started with what the fuck is happening at the border. Like, I'm surprised you're still alive, dude. It's fucking <laughs> wild, dude. Yeah. Well, let's not get get into that. No, actually, <laughs> let's do. No, because now it's it's another thing where it's like, if we just fucking put aside our differences and focused on shit. Like we could have, like literally a utopia. Like, but we we can't, because it's like. Oh, well, we live in dystopia. We really do, and that's why I'm out, bro. Fuck it, dude. Yeah. I need to learn a new language. All right. Where they're polite, like dope, dude. Sign me the fuck up. Everybody <laughs> rides motorcycles. Cool, dude. I like being cool. Yeah, sounds dope. It's gonna be amazing, dude. But. I need to get some food. Yeah, I gotta go hang out with the niece, dude. I'm gonna go on an archaeological yeah. dig. Woo! Well, don't get her sick. She got me sick. <laughs> that's the. Oh issue. yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're good. Yeah. So she's fine. All right, All dude. Right. This is a good one. Yeah. For sure. Our, we'll our Patreon is fucking like a dried up pussy, dude. There's. We're never gonna have another one, I guess. But all right, fuck you. <laughs> I don't know. No guarantees. We'll, yeah, I know. We'll don't even make it. promises, dude. We'll get to it. Mm -hmm. All right, man. I'll catch you. All right. Later, bro. Peace.